What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about iOS 14.8, 14.7, 14.6 for the devices that are not jailbroken for the moment on those versions and whether you should update the iOS 15 for a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, which allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device and manage your applications and photos. Check it out in the link below. Also, thank you to all the patrons who are supporting this channel on patreon.com. They're right now on your screen. So yes, as you remember, Uncover was released for iOS 14.8 and lower, but not for all devices. Some of them were not supported, especially the newer ones. And so people told me, well, you told me to stay on 14.8, 14.7, 14.6, and now I cannot jailbreak. Should I update to iOS 15? And that's actually a completely legitimate question. The reason is because there are already vulnerabilities and exploits available for iOS 15, and they are not for 14.8 on those devices. Because the only reason Uncover could not support those devices as well is because of the exploit. The exploit used for the 14.8, 14.6, 14.7 and so on did not work on those devices and as such they were left behind. But the exploit for iOS 15 does work for those devices as well. So should you have rushed and updated the iOS 15 while you could? Well the answer is no and there is an important reason why. I do get a lot of backlash sometimes in the comments from people who are saying well you told me to stay on iOS 14.8, 14.7 and now they are working on an iOS 15 jailbreak instead of 14, so what should I do? Well, you should stay on 14.8, 14.7, 14.6 and so on, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. Even though there are kernel vulnerabilities and kernel exploits released, for 15.1.1 and lower is this one, Disgrace by Binary Boy, and Synactive even posted this kernel vulnerability proof of concept for 15.3.1 and lower. It supports all devices, even though these exist, any jailbreak for iOS 15, at least in the foreseeable future, will be rootless. Which means means it's not going to be the classic jailbreak you got used to. The Odyssey team already announced that Torin jailbreak will be updated to iOS 15, but it will be rootless. So it's very likely that Uncover will follow suit with the vulnerabilities that are currently available. So what exactly is the difference? What is a rootless jailbreak and why do you care? Well, a rootless jailbreak is a jailbreak that does not remount the rootfs, which means that every single tweak will have to be updated to support the new format, which is a more limited format by design. You no longer have access to the full file system of the device, only to the var partition, and all the tweaks will be broken because all of them rely on installing themselves in the rootfs rather than the var partition. So what I'm saying is you should definitely wait on 14.8 and lower because once an exploit gets released, and it will at some point, you will have a full jailbreak, the type of jailbreak you got used to, like full uncover, like full taurine, and so on, without being rootless. If you update to iOS 15, 15.3 RC is still signed, if you update to that, even if you get a jailbreak in the future, it will be rootless, which means it will be more limited than the 14.8 one, and of course many tweaks may not work by default, because they all need to be updated and some developers may just not want to update their tweaks anymore. And while those would work perfectly fine on 14.8 and lower, because it's the same format, on iOS 15 and newer they would be broken by default, and they would need updating. And that's not the only problem, Coolstar has announced the fact that iOS 15.2 and newer pause serious issues on A12 and newer devices, exactly those devices that had issues with Uncover on 14.8 and lower. But this time is not just the lack of an exploit like it was for Uncover, which can be released at any point. This time we're talking about more security features, more security mitigations that are very hard to bypass. So iOS 15 in any sense after 15.2 is pretty bad for jailbreaking on A12 and newer devices, so I would definitely recommend it to stay as slow as possible and yes I still recommend you to stay on 14.8 and lower because you will have a full jailbreak once it gets released and it's much easier to do. If you don't trust me ask Coolstar or any developer in the community. Nobody will recommend you to update to 15 from 14.8. Thank you for watching I'm GSNow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated. I hope this clarified things and peace out.